Hello and welcome to Wakeboarding Unleashed. I'm in Sedic with me for this game is Blank Tester, of course. Yeah, I'm so expected. And for this game, I'm not just gonna jump to the first level, I'm actually gonna leave the tutorial in and actually kind of leave the opening screen up because this game has some intricacies you might not notice by just watching me play through a level. You know, you can jump off a wake, but you can also cut in for a higher jump or release the rope, detach from the boat, go over to places you couldn't get to before if you just followed the boat and let it keep going. You know, it's sort of, uh... Your mind? I guess so, and I also just like that this title screen isn't just, you know, a static screen and in fact is sort of an event taking place sort of in the game world itself. And all the characters that you can see are the professional, well, the people we can pick to go through career mode. Basically, it's not just a static screen with career, one-player event, multiplayer, options. That's cool. I really appreciate uh, you know work put into something like that, even though I feel bad for Shaba Games because they also made Razor Freestyle Scooter. Oh. They were closed down in 2009, so after 56 years of fun, no one cared. <laughs> <laughs> I think after the first 50 years of fun, no one cared, and then they just went downhill from there. For this playthrough, I wanted someone with good balance, because A, I am still really bad at grinding and manualing, and B, in this game, this game asks you to do a lot of kind of longer grinds, so that's something you really need. I think those are the most most important stats. You can get by with pretty low jumping and turning and you know switch stats and hang time. 
you know, you, you can get by with those because there's ways to, to get a lot more air um, off of something than your character's stats looks like they would allow. That was really solid slow-mo. There's, you know, slow-mo in this game. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, a lot of games couldn't handle slow-mo uh, that well uh, back in the day, and that was really well done slow-mo. That, that was cool. Right, well, if you don't know anything about wakeboarding, you're basically kind of oh, snowboarding uh, behind a boat on water. And <laughs> <laughs> so basically I, it's boarding. Well, I don't, I don't want to say waterboarding because <laughs> that's something else entirely. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, but I'm dying inside. But since the boat makes a wake, you have a ramp for you all the time, pretty much. You don't have to go uh, to the course somewhere to find a good ramp. It's just always right there, and so you can start a combo, and you can do a whole bunch of cool tricks off of the ramp. And also, as you'll see later, you can actually let go of the rope and sort of ride off on your own and do things where you couldn't otherwise because the boat would just pull you back. And so it's got this really nice combination of styles and lets you do a lot of stuff that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. You know, fly off the wake, let go of the ramp, you know, grind on a building, grind behind a building. Do do stuff that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I re Now I'm kind of sad that shopping games is gone. Not really, yeah, I don't care. Um, darn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I going to say? I didn't realize that's why it was called wakeboarding. Huh. Yeah, they they were pretty straightforward in the name. Wakeboarding. But also, since you have to ri since you're riding behind the boat, the boat is going to take a preset path throughout the level. Uh, a lot of well, all of these levels are basically a circuit around an area, uh, a circuit of water, um, and the boat will take those, so that's why it's kind of sort of a combination of such, because you don't have the freedom of riding all around the level, like in Tony Hawk or other games like that, but it's not a racing game uh, that does circuits, because no other extreme sports game really, you know, does uh, a circuitous area like that. So I guess if you want to, to be somewhere, you do have to wait until you ride all around. Like, you can't tell the boat to, to turn back. Um, you gotta make do with what, uh, with what you're going into, but hopefully there's, you know, you can find quite a lot of possibilities with what you're going into. That was pretty cool. Not what you said, I don't care about what you said. Oh, but I rehearsed that. I didn't actually. <laughs> he says. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm just watching what's going on. This is my first time seeing this too, so. But. Yeah, landed in the swamp, yeah. But that, that final uh, trick, getting over the island, that's sort of what I mean. If you just ramped off the boat wake but held onto the rope. It would put you on the island, you wouldn't be able to get over it, but releasing it at the right moment lets you keep going. So the possibilities are endless. Not really. Yeah, not really. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not really. Not really. But still, I enjoy Wakeboarding Unleashed, actually, and I will see you guys for the first real level, Lake Powell.